Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's been a while since I rode Avatar Flight of Passage and since the new movie Avatar 2 is coming out in December, I figured it would be fun to come out and ride it today if the wait time isn't too long. And then also they put out a bunch of villains themed cupcakes. I see that they have Scar here so I figured we'd grab one of those, ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. As you guys might have seen, I'm wearing my flannel, and that's because it is in the 50s today. What an awesome feeling to have a nice little chilly Animal Kingdom kind of day. Because normally I always have to start off the video by saying Animal Kingdom is the hottest park, but not today. I like the breeze. It's definitely chilly enough outside to be wearing a flannel and I'm still wearing shorts and Crocs. I mean, I don't even own pants yet, but it's so funny growing up in Pennsylvania and it being cold all the time. Now I get so excited. Like it's a chilly day and I'm like, I gotta go to the parks. Like I get all dressed up, ready to go. I think I'm going to start off the day by making my way over to Creature Comfort so I can get myself a coffee. I like to have a coffee when I browse around the parks. It's really nice, especially on a nice little fall day. On top of wanting to ride Flight of Passage, I also wouldn't mind doing Expedition Everest, maybe catching a show or sitting down and grabbing lunch somewhere, maybe at a sit down location or quick service. Kind of just go with the flow of things, you know, but first we need the coffee. Some days I'm in a Starbucks mood and some days I'm in a Joffrey's mood, but today I'm all about creature comforts. Pumpkin spice latte acquired. Cheers. Ah, tastes like the weather right now. Enough of the coffee business. Now I want to make my way over to Asia. And a lot of people don't know that you don't actually have to walk around the Tree of Life. You can actually walk right through it. Right before you hit the Africa Bridge right here, there's a little pathway. And this will actually connect you all the way over to Asia. And it's really, really beautiful. You get a great shot of the Tree of Life. And I love walking this way. Seriously, this is such a vibe just to be walking around the tree of life drinking a pumpkin spice latte on a chilly day. I'm loving it right now. It also feels like I got the whole place to myself. There's hardly anyone back here. And this is what I was talking about when you get to see this beautiful view of the tree of life right here as we turn the corner. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You, you, we're actually going to go right underneath it. We're going to go right underneath it and then cut out and come out at the exit of uh, It's Tough to Be a Bug. But beautiful. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Another thing that's really cool about walking this pathway is you get to see a lot of the animals that are on the Tree of Life that you normally wouldn't see. And some of them are actually very frightening in the back end. I think that's why they put them back here is because they can be a little scary to kids. And uh, this is, gives you like a perfect shot. Some of these are just so cool. Look at this snake right here. You get a good look at his face. And then over here, I think we have like a little crab. Is that what it is? You got little pinchers right there. Let me see if you can see them. And then there's a squid. Like, isn't that crazy? Look at this squid. You see it going all the way up and wrapping its tentacles around the tree. That's so cool. And these are on the back end. And this is our little pathway right here. And just like that, we are in Asia. And uh, let's see if we can go ride Expedition Everest. Try to use this single rider line. That's the way to go. You know what I mean? You don't want to wait in line, especially if I'm all by myself. All by myself. Does anyone else have a certain phrase that makes you spontaneously break out in song or dance? I can't be the only one, but here we are, Expedition Everest. Let's go see how long the single rider line is and uh, let's go get that Yeti. Let's go get that Yeti. Looks like the single rider line is uh, a no wait. Look at that, a no wait. We're just gonna walk right on. I feel so fancy right now. Best removal. Stop. <laughs> 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 
Will certainly get the blood flowing for you. I love that ride. Like it's a, uh, it's a have to. Every time you come to the park, you gotta go ride Expedition Everest, especially when you don't have to wait. Like you, no wait. Like if I wanted to go ride right now, I can go ride again and not wait. Which honestly, I might do a little bit later on. I might ride it again. Who knows? As I got off Expedition Everest, look at this. You can see Russell and Doug actually come floating by. Go go! A lot of people say I sound like him. Now I think it's time we grab ourselves a little snack. And over at Flame Tree Barbecue, they have the Scar Cupcake. So the villainous like Scar Cupcake, and I'm excited to try it. It looks really cool. I think it has like cocoa pebbles on it, and it's red velvet. We'll have to cut it open to see what it's like, but from the outside, it looks really, really fun. And here it is, the Scar Cupcake. Red Velvet Cupcake with toasted marshmallow filling, marshmallow chocolate frosting, chocolate pebbles, white chocolate flames, and an edible icing image of Scar. An edible <laughs> icing image of Scar. And it looks like he's hiding behind the bushes there. It looks really, really nice. I can't wait to cut it open or cut right down the middle. $5.99 though. What do you guys think? I mean, I think I might like it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm a little excited. The past two cupcakes that I've had here at Animal Kingdom have been a huge improvement to like the Stigma Disney cupcakes because this one I can tell already, it's not all frosting. Like it's actually a good equal parts cupcake and frosting and the same thing goes for the other one that I had I think at Pizza Fari. So they might be changing things up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try to do this as delicately as possible. I'm gonna rip the, the paper right down the middle. Ooh, look at that red velvet. Look at this. This looks really, really good. I'm excited. I'm losing my I'm losing my cocoa pearls though. Now we're gonna have to cut right down the middle from here, I think. Maybe I'll cut down the side there. I don't want to ruin Scar's little face there. We'll go like this. This is not working. <laughs> I think I'm gonna butcher this. Oh boy. We destroyed this cupcake. I think it's frozen. I am so good. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Amazing. Honestly, I do like red velvet. I do love marshmallow too, but uh, I don't know about this one. I mean, we'll have to go. We'll see how it goes though. I'm gonna save Scar for last. You always eat the little candy last. I mean, I mean, maybe some people like to eat it first though. Oh, I see a bird attacking people. <laughs> These birds will attack you. Just be warned. Look at her. She's got to scare them away. Go on, get. Pa said we can't keep you anymore. Go on, get. <laughs> get those birds out of there. Honestly, I really do believe my cupcake is frozen because I am holding it upside down at this moment. But look at that. It's, it's, it's upside down. I'm going to probably just eat the cake. I don't know if I want frozen fill icing right now at the moment, but I do like the marshmallow in the center there. So here we go. Mmm, red velvet's good. Might as well try the icing though. Yeah, it's frozen. <laughs> I met up with Kristen right down Main Street and uh, she's gonna try the cupcake 
and let me know what she thinks. I don't like white chocolate though. You don't like white chocolate? No. Oh. Yeah. A little disappointing. Cupcake, yeah. yeah. Now, I had a really good cupcake over at Pizza Fari. You should try that one. Did I? I, no, no, no. This was the other day. It was really good though. I forget what it was, but I liked it a lot. This one, I think maybe if it wasn't frozen, it might do pretty good. Yes. You know what I mean? But look, you can still see it. It's the, the icing is like, it's, a, it's rock hard. Rock hard icing is no good. As I was sitting here enjoying my cupcake and looking at all the birds, I noticed these really strange posts. Right here is a python eating a mouse. Look, you see that? It's literally, I, it's got a mouse in its mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, there's mice all around. And there's too. mice all around it. That is craziness. And then on this side, We've got another squid. It's a squid post. I mean, I kind of like the squid one, but is this squid one? The squid one's eating something too, it looks like. This is some really cool stuff right here. I mean, we don't need any of this. Oh, look, here's another snakey in the mouse right here. Look at this, a better look. That is craziness. How come I've never noticed this? It's got his little things too. That is so awesome. Oh, wait a second. Is that a, is that a rabbit or is that a little mouse? I guess enough with the cupcake business. I mean, it's okay, like I said, I like the red velvet probably the most part, but I really had high expectations. Like I was really excited for this one. And now I think I'm gonna maybe make our way over to uh, Flight of Passage. One last bite though. Got a little marshmallow, a little uh, cocoa puff on there. That's the way. Before we make our way over to Flight of Passage, I stopped back at Creature Comforts because Kristen is going to have her first pumpkin spice latte. I, I'm, I'm a pumpkin cream cold brew gal, but um... A little I, PSL? I figured, I figured it's time on this beautiful fall day to try to try the warm beverage. Yeah, have a pumpkin spice latte, maybe it? do some gym tan and laundry later. GTL, yes. GTL, okay. PSL. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Also, fun fact, I did want to point this out. Kristen was just like, wow, I've never seen you in a flannel shirt. Where's your Roosevelt shirt? And I was like, it is. This is a Roosevelt flannel shirt and it's a Roosevelt Nightmare Before Christmas flannel shirt and I love it. Let me show you the design on this and if you guys like Nightmare Before Christmas, you're gonna love this shirt. It's the regular it's the regular flannel, but if you look on the bottom here, we've got Warmsworth, Frog's Breath, Deadly Nightshade, and I am obsessed. You guys check the link in the description if you guys want to buy it, and it's 20% off using my code PMM20 for your first order, but I love it. Let's start making our way into the Valley of Mora, and you can already hear all of the sounds of Pandora, and I love it. It's been a while. Normally when I come to Animal Kingdom, if I'm not riding Flight of Passage, I don't even come over here. Like, I like Animal Kingdom on its own without Pandora, but I do love Pandora, and today it's a Flight of Passage kind of day. Ah, can you hear it? Makes me want to have a nice little bonfire. <laughs> Uh, it, this sounds like, you know, a bonfire night in PA, you know, in a cornfield. Looks like the standby wait time is 60 minutes for Flight of Passage. And walking around down here, all I do is smell Saltuni Canteen. So we might actually end up getting a bite to eat there afterwards. It smells so good. I want some roast beef and chicken. But first, we're going to ride. Waiting in line for Flight of Passage is actually really cool because you get to look at all these beautiful sights. Like, look at these mountains, the floating mountains. And did you know there's some banshees actually hanging up there? It's really cool. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you and show you. I don't have like a super zoom, but you can see them a little bit hanging there. And I think that's so awesome. It's really cool. And we're about to ride on the back of some of them right now. Making our way to the link chambers now. The last time I rode this ride was for the VIP tour day. The video I did, uh, I think it was a couple months ago. So it's nice to be back again. They're calling us up. It's our time. Oh, we're going up C3. Going upstairs. Oh, I never get to go up on the upstairs part. I'm so excited. The top levels are the best. Not the best for the VIP. Turn this around. Oh, everyone's 
Jackson. Oh, I matched up. That's me right here. I think it looks like me too. It's your children. I can smell the ride already and I'm so excited. Definitely one of the best smelling rides at Walt Disney World. And there's a lot of great smelling rides. Looks like this is us. Kristen pointed out how great this is for backing your, cracking your back. Back in your crack. Crack in your back. Back in your crack. A couple of cool things to point out. They have little air pushing out right here to really add to the effect that you're flying. And also in between your legs, the uh, Ekron actually breathes. So as you're flying, you can feel the Ekron breathing in between your legs and it's really fun. It really does, if you just close your eyes and ride this, you don't even have to look at anything and you'll really feel like you are on something like special or riding the back of an Ekron. Flight of passage was great. Literally, I could just like close my eyes and put my hands up and just ugh, absolutely me. The smells, the feels, because everything it's like such a sensational experience, and I love it. And uh, that's why I mean, Soren is my all-time favorite ride. And a lot of people say this is like Soren on steroids. I feel like that's the thing that they always say. But Soren is more a nostalgic feeling to me. Like you know what I mean? It's it's more closer to my heart but this is such an epic epic ride i was thinking of actually going to Saltuli canteen but kristen has a landry's card landry's card so we could just show up at yak and yeti without a reservation and i think that's what we're gonna do have a little yak and yeti a little yak a, a little yeti i'll have the yak you'll have the yeti. oh yeah you'll have the yak i'll have the yeti i like that I think Scrooge McDuck is on his way over here. I just heard them announce that they're uh, making their way down, so we want to say hi real quick. It's so funny because there's nobody over here, so Scrooge McDuck is just going to be basically waving at us. Actually, both of them are. Look at there, There's no one here to say hi except for us. Hi! 
Normally when you see like characters and they're waving, oh, he gave me a tip, a tip of the hat. Thank you, thank you. Oh wow, I love it. Have fun, thank you Scrooge. Look at the money bags. He's got money bags on his boat. Normally whenever you see like a cavalcade come by and they're waving, you have to wonder, are they waving at me? But when you're all by yourself, they are waving at you. Oh, now they're playing DuckTales. Do do, a woo. But wait, there's more. Here comes Pocahontas and Miko. And what is Pocahontas pointing out to Miko there? Look how close we're gonna get to them. Oh wow, look at that. Thank you, Pocahontas. Hi, Miko. <laughs> no, 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 I'll, I'll give you food. He's hungry. Bye bye. I'll never forget you. I'll never. <laughs> Look at this. He's still. We're still locking eyes right now. We're still. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Did you guys see Miko? He would not look away. Like, it was so funny. He was rubbing his stomach. I think he wanted me to give him food, but he was like way down. And I didn't break eye contact and he didn't either. And we just kept on looking at each other and like he was just drifting away. I wish like I could add like some sad music into there because it was really sad. And he was just like, me food. Reminded me of Gracie. Like when Gracie wants food, she looks at me the same way Miko just did. Speaking of that, I think we're gonna go get some food now. I, if I could, I would go back and give Miko some. And now we have made it to Yak and Yeti. Conditioned air, fine foods and drinks. And Kristen's just gonna walk in and be like, I would like a table, please. I'm here. I'm here. Table me. Table me. I'm not too sure how the Landry's card works, but if you are a Landry's member, you don't have to have a reservation. You can just show up and they give you priority seating. And like I said, Kristen has that. And that's good for Rainforest Cafe, T-Rex, a lot of great restaurants. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get something to eat. I'm gonna try something different this time though. Take a look at this. I never noticed Yak and Yeti was voted top two best theme park restaurant by USA Today. Reader's Choice 2022. Number two. Huh. That's a that's a big claim to fame right there. Look at that. Top two restaurant. Top two. Kind of like uh, Mythos over at Universal Studios Orlando, but those are two separate companies. USA Today, Reader's Choice, that's a big company right there. So that's a... A, a, a mighty fine accomplishment by Yak and Yeti. Last time I was here, I got some Chinese chicken, Kristen said. Yeah, you got oh, the honey chicken, that's what you got. Oh, chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain starts clicking. Clicking. What? I don't know what this is from. I don't know what you're referencing. Wait, what? What are you referencing? Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. I have no clue what that is. What? No. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know where that song comes from or the name of the band. Let me know in the comments. Use the comment section below to tell Kristen the band that sings that song. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu. I'm not too sure what to get this time. I mean, there is a lot of good offerings. I might want to get some ribs though. The ribs do look pretty good. And also, they have a Kobe beef burger. Everyone says the Kobe beef burger is good. Oh, kind of torn, but you know. If you're eating at the second best theme park restaurant, you got lots of choices. Just like that, we are at our table. Landry's card coming in. What was it, three minutes? Three minute wait. I love it. Also looks like they have a new menu, Journey into the Far East. And it's got some good stuff on here. A Thai lemongrass shrimp, which I'm thinking about getting. Pork belly. They've got Mongolia beef. A Thai basil chicken. These all look amazing, honestly, but I'm all about the shrimp, shrimp in business today. For starters, we ended up getting the Korean fried chicken, and this comes with some maple sauce on there, and I'm excited, it looks really good. And uh, little chicken tendies. What are these noodles called? I don't know, but I like them. Maybe I used, fried rice noodles? I used to think they were just decoration, but now I found out you can eat them. Look at that. So here we go, Korean fried chicken. Wow. That is so good. 
these are really good and it's a shareable appetizer oh look at this long one and i think they hand bread them too there were, there were six tendies six tendies i think they're definitely hand breaded 15 dollars 99 though for it and i like it i like the gochu maple syrup is that how you say it? gochu gochu chang gochu chang Go to Chang, Chickadee China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> the rice straws are really good too. Reminds me of like the little muncho chips. You guys ever have munchos before? <laughs> Holy moly. I was not expecting this when it came to the shrimp. Look at this. Look at the size of these shrimp. Look at that. Those are, those are as big as the shrimp from the boathouse. That is ridiculous. And he got some nice little corn in there, rice. I am so excited. This is a huge meal. I was worried that the size wasn't gonna be good, but this is good, this is gonna be good. And then what'd you get? I got the pork, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. The pork, the a pork, pork belly bowl. biggity bong. <laughs> bim bim bop. Bim bop, bim bim bop. Also on the special menu, it looks good. That broccoli looks amazing though. Charred broccoli. Nice Charred broccoli, broccoli. look at that. This shrimp looks like it could be the best shrimp I've ever eaten. And I'm going right on in here. Look at this. Holy moly. I cannot, I, all right, here we go. We're just going right on in. Wow. The lemongrass is so amazing. Now I gotta try the rice with the corn, but I can't get over that shrimp. I think they give you six of them, but they're gigantic and they're just so meaty. So, so meaty and the lemongrass just adds such a nice touch to it. This menu has become something else, I tell you what. I really do love it here. I am interested in trying uh, Kristen's broccoli here. Fried broccoli, look at this. Oh my lord. I'm all about the broccoli life. I seen that broccoli when it came out. I was like, I should have gotten the broccoli. Oh my lord! The broccoli, though. Now I gotta try her pork. Look at this. You can't. You can't get a bad meal here. You can't. Even though I love the lemongrass shrimp. That broccoli, I'm just gonna be dreaming about. And now I'm gonna try the pork here. Seriously, wow. So much flavor. Honestly, the food I have experienced today, I could say this is like one of the best theme park restaurants I've been to. Top two though, number two. Too, but it's one of the it is really good though. I don't I can't say it's like the number two restaurant. I mean, but it is good though. Very, very good. And with that, I think we are done here today. Such a good meal, honestly. I really do love it in there. Yak and Yeti is a fantastic restaurant. Like I said though, I don't know if I put it at my number two favorite restaurant. You know what I mean? But I mean, I guess that's uh USA Today's, you know, thoughts. <laughs> or opinions and uh, yeah, I had a great day hanging out at Animal Kingdom. We got to do a lot of fun stuff Flight of Passage was amazing Avatar 2 is coming out soon and uh, Oh, yeah Everest we did a lot actually today. I feel really accomplished. We tried the scar cupcake Yeah, it was a good Animal Kingdom day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, We'll see you next time Bye I wanted to update you guys on Gracie's Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy bed. I tried to put it in the closet so I can make her like a little tiny like bedroom in here. And uh, she does not want to come. Gracie, come here. Gracie. I'm trying to get her to come into her little bed here. She just doesn't like it. And, it's, and I thought like maybe it was too small, but it's really not that small compared to her other bed. First, I'm going to try throwing her ball in there and see if she wants to go get it. It didn't go in the ball. Go, oh, no, it didn't go in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look at this little ball. Hold on. You ready? You want the ball? Here we go. I missed again. Oh. Oh, she went, she went in there. No, no. Here, you want a treat? A treat. You want a treat? Hold on. This is what we're going to do. Right here. Here. Yeah. Treats right there. Where are you going? The treats right here. I'll move it out. I'll move it out.
<laughs> Why are you afraid of the bed? Why are you afraid of the doom buggy? Why are you afraid of the doom buggy?